groovy. Hey everybody, Jim here, and I wanted to quickly make this video today. I uh, was struck with a little bit of inspiration. I was rummaging around in some boxes looking for something to play when I stumbled across something that, um, well, it's, it's not exactly video games, it's uh, almost just as good. Uh, I found my Game Center CX DVDs. Um, I haven't really taken a look at these in quite a long time. Uh, for those of you not familiar, Game Center CX is a television show in Japan that's been running for quite a long time now, and it features this guy here. Uh, he's a comedian named Arino, and essentially what the show is, is he'll be sat down in a room with a really difficult retro video game and the challenges he has to complete those games so games like you know ninja gaiden or castlevania mega man things like that and he'll basically be trapped in that room for any number of hours trying to complete those games and oddly enough it makes for really great tv he's a funny guy he's not an expert video game player so you get to sit there and watch him basically get frustrated and lose, 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 and then 13 hours later and he's just still losing and he's got these cold packs put on his forehead to help cool him down. He's got little snacks here and there. Um, really cool stuff is that when he's stuck on a certain spot, other members of the crew will come in, like assistant directors, things like that, and they'll bring in strategy guides. They'll show him like little glitches and uh, tricks and cheats things like that to help him along if he's really struggling and it's just it's really cool it's kind of akin to watching a let's play except you know you're watching him play oh let's see this season you know you get to see him play like uh, Quinty or Gimpei Tomaden or uh, Rockman 4 in this season um, this one you get Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Mega Man 2 Super Mario World um, Gambari Goimon, Clock Tower, Fatal Fury, uh, Mario 64, Castlevania 3, Donkey Kong Country, Rockman 3, Battle Golf for Yui, all kinds of really awesome games. And it's oddly enough really funny and entertaining just watching this guy struggle through these really difficult retro video games. And in addition to that, there are lots of little extra parts to each episode. Sometimes he'll be interviewing game designers and developers from back in the day. Um, they do segments where people, mostly kids, will write in to tell him about uh, local arcades in their neighborhood and why he should go there and check them out. And so they'll go out on location and they'll film in these arcades and they'll do really cool bits like that. So, like, really excellent show. Um, if you've never checked out Game Center CX, uh, I, I think you really should. Uh, these box sets really hold their value. Uh, I think when I bought them, <clears throat> they were like $50 at the time, and they're only two discs. I think each set features like maybe six, seven episodes. Not a whole lot, but they're really expensive for some reason, really pricey. Um, but they're really excellent, well worth it. You can find some Game Center CX stuff uh, on YouTube. I would suggest you go check it out. And in case you want to know uh, if some of it ever got translated to English, um, Kotaku, of all places, uh, translated some episodes and they called it Retro Game Master. They had it on the site for a while and then they eventually released it on DVD. Uh, some good stuff in here. You do get to watch him play, I believe, uh, Clock Tower, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, a whole bunch, just a whole bunch of really great games. Um, not quite the same, they removed all of the sections where he goes to the arcades, stuff like that, little extra bits, and the narrator is, um, I heard someone say before that uh, it's a little different. When you're accustomed to watching the original Japanese, the narrator uh, I think he did a really great job, had an excellent voice, uh, really good for narration, not quite the same as the Japanese. Um, anyway, uh, like, yeah, Game Center CX, Retro Game Master, um, check out either one. Um, if you're already aware of Game Center CX, if you've watched it and you like it, let me know. Uh, and let me know what maybe your favorite episode was. 
Me, personally, I think Ninja Gaiden is my favorite. Uh, he had to leave that game because he had other things to do. He literally had other obligations that he had to do after I don't know how many hours of playing. He left, come back, and just the final boss battle, his reaction to just seeing that there's another form of this boss and another form, uh, really great. That's my personal favorite episode. So I'd love to hear what some of your favorite episodes of Game Center CX are, if you are actually familiar with the show, and if you're not, uh, what's wrong with you? Stop watching this video, go look up some Game Center CX, and then come back and tell me in the comments uh, what you thought about it. I I'd love to, uh, to hear from you guys. Uh, and with that being said, uh, thank you for watching, take care, I'll see you next time.